Hi everyone, I am Courtney Rolston and I am very, very excited to be part of this year's Free From An Allergy virtual Christmas show. I love Christmas and I love cooking uh, in the lead up to Christmas and getting ready for the big day. Now I know anyone out there with intolerances to food or maybe catering for someone with intolerances to food or someone in your family, this can be a tricky time of year, the festive season. Uh, there's so much focus on food and what we're gonna eat on the big day, but I have a delicious recipe uh, today to make for you that is perfect for anyone that is vegan, uh, dairy-free or gluten-free. So I am gonna be showing you how to make a vegan stuffed butternut pumpkin. So basically we are gonna do what you would do with a turkey or a chicken, um, but we're gonna do it with a delicious whole sweet butternut pumpkin. So I'm gonna run you through this recipe step by step. We're going to make a delicious stuffing mixture for our pumpkin with some uh, cranberries, herbs, uh, some coals, organic quinoa, really delicious texture for the inside of our sweet pumpkin. We're gonna cut the pumpkin, scoop out the flesh, put in the stuffing, tie it up, and pop it in the oven, and we are gonna have a really, really impressive centerpiece roast um, for your Christmas table. Um, so, so to kick things off with the quinoa, it's really simple. With the Coles quinoa, you can get this in at the um, health aisle at Coles. For every cup of quinoa, you basically need two cups uh, of water. You could use stock, but I've used water for this because we're putting lots of spices and herbs in and we're gonna get our flavor from that. So um, I wanted about one cup of cooked quinoa for this recipe. So around a third of a cup of uncooked quinoa went into my pot with two thirds of a cup of water. Bring it up to the boil and when the water has evaporated, turn the heat right down low, pop a lid on and let it gently steam exactly how you would cook boiled rice. And this is what you end up with. Beautiful, fluffy, uh, quinoa. This has been cooled down, which is what we want for our stuffing. I set that aside. And now we can get on with the rest of the stuffing ingredients. So into a pan, I'll just start with this cold. I'm going in with some extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon, just enough to cook our onion and garlic. So I've got a brown onion that I've just peeled. I'm just gonna dice up the onion and pop it into the pan with the oil. You wanna cut the onion quite fine because when we cut into our roast once it's cooked, we want everything to be nice and small and holding together. Okay, that is our onion diced up and it's nearly getting me with the tears. We don't want tears this Christmas. Um, I'm gonna pop this in with the oil in my pan. I'm gonna get this onto a medium heat on my little cooker. And I've got two cloves of garlic that I'm going to chop and also add in with the onion. And I'm gonna cook that for two or three minutes until the onion has gone nice and translucent and our garlic is nice and fragrant. The onion and garlic is smelling delicious. I'm going to season with a little pinch of sea salt. And I'm now going in with about a cup of diced up mushrooms. So I'm not using any egg in the stuffing to bind this together. So our mushrooms are gonna add a beautiful meaty flavor, um, but they're also gonna add some really nice moisture and help to stick this uh, stuffing together. So I've just finely diced these mushrooms. We just wanna cook off the mushrooms for a couple of minutes until they've softened down. Mushrooms love pepper, so I'm gonna add in a few grinds of pepper, and I think all stuffing should have a little bit of black pepper in it. Let's give that a mix around. Now pumpkin, when it's roasted, becomes beautiful and soft and sweet, and I think the perfect foil for that is to add a little bit of spice into our stuffing mixture. It goes so well and counteracts so well with that sweet pumpkin flesh. Two of my favorite spices with pumpkin and also around the festive season is these two guys here. I've got some ground cinnamon and some ground cumin. Make sure you check your spice label. Some spices will have some anti-caking agent and things in them, um, which is not good for intolerances. So these are, are both just pure cumin 
and cinnamon and I'm gonna add some in with the mushrooms to help toast that off and bring out their flavor. Cumin is in, goes lovely with pumpkin and our cinnamon goes so well with that sweet pumpkin flesh. So just continue cooking this for another couple of minutes until the mushrooms have cooked right down and those spices have cooked out. This is smelling amazing and this is what you're looking for. Softened down, nicely sweated through those mushrooms and those spices smell amazing. That is the smell of Christmas in there. I'm going to turn the mushrooms and the onion mixture off now and I'm going to get my mixing bowl ready. So our cooled quinoa can go in. Now if you wanted to really cheat and speed this up you can buy the packets of pre-cooked uh, brown rice and quinoa or just brown rice in the international aisle and you could just use one of those microwave pockets to cut out this step. Okay, our spicy onion mushroom mixture can also go in with the quinoa. Now for me, stuffing is all about texture. So I have got some nuts that are going in. Now there may be some of you out there that um, are not able to eat nuts and it's a really simple swap out. You can either leave the nuts out of this stuffing altogether um, or you could substitute them with things like sesame seeds, sunflower seeds or pumpkin or pepita seeds. Um, so you'd get some great texture through there. I am going in with some chopped roasted almonds. It's a beautiful crunchy texture. I've also got some walnuts. I love walnuts. They have a beautiful oily texture, um, great health benefits in them. So I'm just gonna roughly chop up our walnuts. And I'm gonna pop them in with our other ingredients. Now this next ingredient is optional. I love a tiny bit of heat. We've got quite sweet pumpkin um, and sweet onion and those earthy mushrooms. I love a little kick of chili. If you don't want chili, you can leave this out. I'm just gonna dice this up and put it in with our stuffing mixture. So chopped long red chili is going in with the stuffing mixture. For me, I love cranberries around Christmas time. They've got a beautiful, sweet, slightly uh, sour, flavor to them but any dried fruit that you've got at home you could use some dried apricots or dried dates or sultanas or raisins um, but I love cranberries I love the green and red colors of Christmas so about half a cup of dried cranberries are going into our stuffing mixture now all we need is some herbs again completely up to you what herbs you want to use I have got some flat leaf parsley here but if you wanted to use some green shallots or chives or sage or thyme, um, any of those herbs are gonna be great around Christmas. I'm just gonna chop up the parsley, add it in with the stuffing mixture and give that a good mix through so it's all combined. That is the stuffing mixture all done and that smells absolutely amazing. Our stuffing mixture is done, we can set that aside. Now it's time probably for the only difficult part of the recipe and that is wrangling our pumpkin to get it sliced in half. I'm going to try and use my best knife skills to slice our pumpkin down the middle and then we're just going to scrape out the flesh um, and scrape out a little bit of the neck of the pumpkin to give us a nice cavity to stuff it with. So steady hand and you just want to get down right through the center of the pumpkin and there we go. You can see you end up with the little membrane down the bottom. I'm just gonna use a large metal spoon to scrape that out. And you want to leave about an inch thickness of flesh between the pumpkin and the outside skin. And then I'm just gonna scrape out some of the pumpkin flesh from the neck so that we can get lots of stuffing and everyone gets a little bit of stuffing from every slice of the pumpkin. Now that is all the hard work out of the way. All you need to do now is to stuff your two halves of butternut pumpkin with our delicious cranberry, herby, mushroomy uh, stuffing mixture. So stuffing mixture in both halves, put the halves together, get some string. If you didn't have any butcher's string, you could just use some aluminium foil to hold the two halves together. Um, but we're gonna tie this up with some string 
uh, and then it's going to be ready to go into the oven. That is our pumpkin all trussed up and put back together after the stuffing's gone in. Really simple now, just grab yourself a lined tray. I'm gonna pop the pumpkin in the tray. Give it a little drizzle with some extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit to keep the outside cooking along. Season that with a bit of sea salt, as you would with any roast, and this is gonna go nice and crispy, just like chicken skin would. She's ready for the oven. So the oven is set at 180 degrees. This needs 30 minutes uncovered. And then after 30 minutes, I'm gonna put some foil on it just to make sure it steams and cooks through beautifully for another 30 minutes. So one hour in total, and we will come back and have our delicious stuffed pumpkin ready to carve. Pumpkin has had its hour in the oven and I've just given it a little rest. And as you can see, we've got wrinkly golden skin. The flesh is nice and soft. I've tested that with a little sharp knife. You'll be able to tell if the flesh is cooked through. Okay, you can't have a roast without a gravy. And I'm gonna whip up a really quick vegan, I guess we'll call this gravy, a really quick tahini sauce. So a mixture of tahini, some apple cider vinegar, some Coles maple syrup, some sea salt, and maybe a dash of water. So I'm just gonna mix all those ingredients in the bowl. So that is a really quick 30 second tahini dressing that you can mix up. It's beautiful and thick and it's gonna act like a delicious gravy. So all we need to do now is to get your best Christmas platter to get your roast onto. I'm gonna very carefully transfer our pumpkin onto our platter. You can just snip away some of the twine now that's been holding it together. And now just like any of your favorite roasts, I'm just going to start carving this. So I would take this to the table and carve it in front of everybody. All right, I am very, very happy with that. And hopefully all of you guys that are looking for some vegan, dairy-free or gluten-free and meat-free inspiration for your Christmas table, love the look of this as well, it smells incredible. For anyone that hasn't joined the Free From An Allergy Facebook community page, I highly recommend you jump on there and join. There's loads of support, there's loads of recipe inspiration, and it's a great place if you're suffering with intolerances to get loads of ideas and support from other members. If you're after some more food inspiration with your intolerances and recipes, we have got loads of recipes on the Living Free From YouTube channel. There's loads of vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, FODMAP recipes. We've got loads covered on there. So jump onto the YouTube channel for more of that. I'll be participating in a live Q&A from 12 noon on the dot on Saturday, the 5th of December. So if you like the look of this recipe, or you wanna talk about loads of other recipes, or ask me a question, then make sure you join the Free From An Allergy virtual Christmas show on the 5th of December. 12 noon, we'll have a chat then. In the meantime, Christmas has come early in my house. We are gonna have a very nice evening tucking into this. We'll see you soon.